Hi, in this short video, we'll get a chance to see AlgoSec Cloudflow in action. Cloudflow is a cloud-centric security management solution that provides instant visibility, risk assessment, and central policy management to enable a unified security control posture management. In this demo, we'll see how a user identifies network policy risks across its multi-cloud, multi-VPC or VNet environment, and remediates the risk in an easy manner. Let's see how it works. First, we can see here the various AWS accounts and the Azure subscriptions that the user onboarded to Cloudflow. Next, in the Inventory dashboard, we can see all the cloud assets and security controls that make up our cloud estate across multiple clouds, subscriptions, VPCs, and VNets. Here we can review the risks that Cloudflow identified, including the affected assets, based on industry best practices. For example, let's review this AWS risk. Here we see the AWS outbound to any, allow any, service risk. This means that Cloudflow identified multiple AWS security group outbound rules, allowing very permissive outgoing traffic to the internet. These rules should be restricted. Here you can see the description of the risk and the remediation recommendation. In the table below, you can see all the risk triggers in this case, security group rules that contributed to the risk. You can also see the various security group rules coming from the different accounts, regions, and VPCs that triggered the risk. For each risk trigger, we can also see the affected assets. This risk information can be exported to a CSV file which will provide additional information such as subnet ID and the accessibility from the internet for each affected asset. Now let's go back and look at another risk. Here we have an Azure risk. In addition to the information about this risk trigger and the affected assets, I can see an indication for traffic. Cloudflow imports network security group flow logs, processes them, and identifies for each network security group rule if it's in use or not. In this case, we can see that this rule was identified as no traffic logged, which means no hits were identified on this rule for the last 30 days. This gives the user confidence to modify or remove this rule to remediate the risk as it won't impact application operation. Let's do that now. Here we can see the jump server internet access rule as part of the context of this NSG. We can see that this rule isn't configured on a single NSG, but on five separate NSGs that are similar to each other. This is the part of the central policy management that Cloudflow offers, allowing the user to centrally manage multiple network security groups in a single policy set. We can see this in the Azure dashboard. Now let's go ahead and modify the rule. We would like to narrow the rule to a specific protocol. Let's choose TCP21 for FTP traffic only for this rule. Now let's submit the change. We can see that this change has been implemented on all of the target network security groups. The modification was successful. We now have a more narrow and secure rule with only the specific traffic allowed. We can also see that in the Azure console. You can see that this rule has been modified accordingly. In this demo, we saw how Cloudflow can assist in assessing and remediating risk in your cloud environment. Click here to schedule a demo to learn more about how Cloudflow can help you ensure security in your cloud environment. Thanks for tuning in today.